Today's date is January 22nd, 1989. The time is approximately 7.30 p.m. I'm at the Florida State Prison. I'm going to interview Ted Bundy. What you know is all. Okay, I'll turn the recorder on. We'll do what we can. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I think we can do something good. But we can do something good. First of all, I want to tell you I appreciate the time that you've given me. And uh, another thing, um, a good friend of mine uh, and an old acquaintance of yours wanted to tell me that he's thinking about you in his prison so far we made you. Sure. Uh, I remember. He's still in prison? No, he's, um, he's got the uh, county jail and he's, um, he's up at the VA hospital. He uh, married myself and my wife. Uh, Back in '76, and my wife died, and he buried her. So hmm. well, he's a he's a fine gentleman. I I, uh, I appreciated him his work out the prison. Yeah, regardless of a person's religious beliefs, he's a Absolutely. heck of a man. Absolutely. But I've got um, five cases uh, that uh, we know of that we're concerned about, and. and uh, Three of them are, are missing girls, and uh, uh, would you feel com more comfortable used to talking, or would you like to uh, to have me uh, refresh your memory? Or uh, no, no, what I I list uh, what I'd uh, like to do. I mean, under the circumstances. I'd just like to get a, let's just get a map out. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't have a map of Utah. All right, I think, guess what? Let's just see what we have. Ken up in, in uh, Bountiful at the high school, do you remember, uh, did you go north or south or straight east from there? All right, well, let's, uh, let's try to, that's what I'm looking for here. Okay. Uh, well, Bountiful, of course, is just north of Salt Lake and south of Ogden here. Is there any, any uh, particular landmarks that you recall? Uh, First of all, you, you, uh, let's, let's, I don't know. you have to forgive me because I'm not thinking really clearly. Sure. There are a number of things we need to talk about. Uh, you see, we're going to get down to business here, but I, uh, I understand that you, uh, it's my, and it's my preference that you, at least for the time being, more or less work in a statewide capacity, uh, you know, even though I'm, I'm sure you're interested in everything that happened in Utah, but I understand that uh, you, you sort of, been associated with the Attorney General's office in some way for this. Yes, I've, well, I've been informed. Uh, I talked to the Attorney General today, and he's he's uh, informed me that uh, he's empowered me to uh, act on his behalf as a representative of the Attorney General. Okay, and I would uh, I would like your findings here reported as soon as possible to him. Uh, I would. Uh, you want me to report well, the findings I mean, to him? I cannot order you. I, mean, I can't order you. To no, I'm saying you would like me to do that. Well, you no. certainly would. Uh, I'm would, sure, I'd grant that. To would, would like you. In, in fact, he asked me to. to. As soon as you can, sure. let him know what uh, what's going on. Absolutely. Now, I know. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know. 
I know. Well, if, I could, if I could help you out, do you remember um, when Carol Durant got away from you? Oh, I know where things are. Oh, okay. That's, uh, well, I, I thought maybe if I help you, if you uh, think sure. that would. You know, I, yeah, I, know, uh, yeah, I know all this stuff is uh, pretty familiar with the map. I mean, to a point. I mean, uh, <laughs> Well, I agree. You weren't you were, uh, familiar with the area, and it's, uh, there's a few canyons and. Uh, well, it's a t I think what we need is topo stuff for the for the, the high resolution uh, to give us a uh, yeah. feel, a better feel for some of that. Could not come up with one of those historical sites. Oh yeah, yeah. since they don't have a, a view to historic. Yeah, I know. I know that's a problem. And. Uh, I, I, I want to be, as, for any number of reasons, I want to be as specific as I can be about what the, because what, what this is about is trying to, uh, is, is, is about locating right. uh, remains. We're, right. not, we're not talking about stuff thrown out of a window or scattered along the ground. This is things that should be there. Mm -hmm. um, were they, uh, was it a burial? Yes. As, as much as anyone, and maybe some some ways more deserve sure. some word. How far do you think you had to drive uh, from that school? It was somewhere between. Let's just. Did you go back down through Salt Lake? Again? Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, did you? Yeah. And you went farther south. Yeah. Past Provo. Yeah. Were you on the interstate? Yeah, yes, on the interstate. We're talking somewhere between um, Milburn and Manatee. But all of maybe Mayfield. And that's a, that's a big hunk. It's an awfully big hunk. I mean, you could spend several lifetimes looking for something there, trying to narrow it down. I mean, it's always, it, it's somewhere to the left of 89. You went down the highway as opposed to uh, the freeway there? Yeah. Oh, that right, right, right here. Yeah. A, I don't know what it looks like in the daytime, that's another problem. Ridge looks like mountain, uh, mountains, a uh, mountainous area to the uh, east, all the way down 89 from from Thistle to Mayfield. So you went south of Provo, probably on the freeway, and then jotted off onto 89, is that right? Or did you follow 89 all the way down? Well, there's a standard, no, no, no. I mean, yeah, I think that the, the, the most efficient way is if you're going, for instance, like to, uh, to Price, you just head down the freeway and then you turn off, uh, there's a turn off for 50. Whatever that would be. Yeah, I've traveled Price Canyon. Uh, that's, it's called Spanish Fork, but that's on the Spanish way, Fork, on yeah. way to Price. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, you could go out with the, the, the pass. Sure. But then you took the cutoff at Thistle. Well, yeah, exactly what it I mean, yeah, whether it was a cutoff or, or whatever the most efficient way was during those days, and it, it may well be different. Right, you know, it's the same way. There's a cutoff at Thistle, then it goes south. Uh, mm -hmm. How far south do you think you went from that? Uh, look, again, uh, would jog over to Thistle down 89 here, and that, that is, that's the $64,000 question. Is now we're stuck. Huh? Well, not necessarily, but uh, we're, we're not. We don't have a lot of uh, detail to work with on this map. How far down do you think from that cutoff? What would you done? Do you remember how many towns you had to go through before you went up into the mountains? 
No, I'm, uh, I think what we may have to do is uh, work uh, with not so much time, because that's, uh, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm not, I, can't, I didn't count towns necessarily, or, okay. or miles, or look at my watch to see how long the time was. It was just driving, and I, um, in the dark, um, late at night, and not very conscious of much of anything else, uh, you know. It, what was going on except looking for a, just a, a side road. Let me ask you another question before you lose your train of thought. We have reported to us that there was some carvings in trees. Did you ever carve your name in a tree? Never. Never. Okay. Because I think it was one down in that area that somebody carved the name Ted Bundy and put a date on it. We've had three or four of those trees uh, in the mountain, different mountain areas. But that's that wasn't something you did? No, no, no. Okay. So, okay, we're going south of Thistle, and uh, anything come to mind there that you can see on the map that would help us out? Not on the map. I would mean, have to go on. I mean, of whatever uh, landmarks mm -hmm. I saw. How about uh, Nancy Wilcox? Are they all down in the same area? No. Uh, yeah. Oops. I'm sorry, one at a time. Okay. Yeah, I was just hoping that we'd have something. This will give us a start, but uh, I was hoping we'd have something that would really clue me in, but even with you know a high degree of scale and showing dirt roads and all that, because. That's, that would pretty, I could pretty closely clue it in there. But anyway, we're talking about a small town, like we, uh, how small, I can't, I couldn't tell you how big, I mean, it certainly wasn't Provo, but it was one of those small towns along here, where they, it was late at night, so the stoplights were turned off, or at least blinking, or something like that. Yeah, they had those flashing amber lights. Yeah. How many of them there were, I don't know, at some point. And then you went off into the mountains from the small town, the area of that small town? Turn left. Right. How far off the road would you, if you're from away from that town, would you have gone? Several miles. Oh, well, this should help. There seemed to be. Just out, just in the outskirts of this town, a, a, like a uh, iron barrier. It's a gate that's swung across the roadway. It looked like it closed off that road for some reason. It sort of oh, like a cabin it. association, something like that. Possibly, I mean, but it was still a paved road. It just looked like, you know, I don't even it, it wasn't closed, but it looked like it. It had been open and closed. How far away from uh, Highway 89 would you say you ran into that? Well, well, again, just to the outskirts of this I mean, small town, small town traveling uh, up into the mountains that were east, uh, east of the village. In, in terms of uh, time, could you, could you estimate how far down from Thistle you would have traveled? No, absolutely not able to do that. So you couldn't do it in terms of miles or time? No. No, no concept. Now it's Did you return uh, back to Salt Lake all the same night? Yes. Was she, uh, was she already dead? Uh, yes. 
Was she killed right there at the school? No. But you are responsible for her, for her death, though, right? Yes. And, um, of course, Melissa Smith, we recovered her body. You didn't have time to bury her, or it was just not your intent to bury her? Well, can we please? Let's try it. I want to focus on okay. one at a time. Okay. Well, I'm concerned about the 30 minutes, too. Are, well, is, that, I, is that firm or what? Well, this is, I mean, I'm just just about ready to collapse. I, uh, and that's just, I mean, I know this. Well, I can appreciate that. Well, the furthest thing from your mind, I, I've got some mileage left in me tonight, and I want to give it your best uh, shot. Give it your best. The one that's most likely to produce something for somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, for. Uh, and this is my clearest recollection, okay. the one that I have the clearest recollection of. Okay. And I, uh, that's why we're starting there. That's why okay. I'm starting there. From the Iron Gate, then, how far would you say you traveled? Before? Okay. Now, that time there was a big scene just a short distance inside the Iron Gate to the left. So you somehow were able to go through the gate? Yeah, so the, the gate was open or partially open. I don't, I'm like, my, my recollection is it was like only, it was not all the way open, it wasn't all the way closed. It was just closed enough to, to be evident that it was there. Did you park your car and then carry her through there? Or? No, it was big enough to drive through. Gotcha. I wasn't driving in a Volkswagen. It wasn't that rough of driving to, for your VW? I mean, it wasn't that mountainous. No, 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 no. And then the short distance matter, yards to the left inside that. And I hope I'm not. I'm hoping I'm recalling this clearly. It's a dirt road. It made a steep climb. Not really, I mean, a short, but a steep. Uh, Set up a, a little incline and then wound up to the left. Wound, uh, wound around up and to the left uh, into a, a wooded area. You know, you know, I'm not talking about heavy forest, but you know, the type of, of woodlands uh, that you find in that area that's it's sort of clump of trees here, clump of trees there, a lot of open dirt, and mm -hmm. grassy stuff, and you know, that kind of Were you into the pines, or just kind of a quakies, or...? Yeah, again, dark, the, the, the darkness limited it, okay. my ability to perceive all of that. All I perceived was, I mean, I knew that kind of country, and that's mm -hmm. the reason I'm describing it to you, just, you know, the more just detailed description I don't have. Uh, and I can kind of remember, uh, I'm trying to remember the number of little turns this road made and, and, and uh, how far up it traveled. But you're still able to drive it in the VW. Well, it's bumpy. You know, it's 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 it's, it's tough. It's rocky. Is it a is it a county type road, or is it just a uh, a road that you can get to? Well, oh, it's it's just a one, one car in. It's a one car type, uh, just back road. I mean, I say back road. That's not good enough. You know, just the kind something of something somebody go four wheel in? four wheel type road, uh, wagon wheel rut. It's, uh, yeah. uh, you know, puddles and deep. You know, Volkswagen's amazingly agile, even in a country like that. And so it's, even with the deep holes and, and rocks and things, it rocks it around quite a bit, but it'll get up in there. And it's it's a, a covered wagon type road, if you will, a four-wheel drive type road, nothing fancy, just something that people would get up into the back country on. How far 
past that iron gate, would you say you traveled before you finally stopped? Traveling very slowly, bouncing around, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's a, a mile to two miles at the outside. I know that's a lot of ground, but then again. Uh, it's hard to tell when you're going so slow. Well, yeah, it's hard to tell, and yet, yeah, to see it is one thing to, to try to estimate it and describe it as another. Did you see any, uh, say, power poles, power lines, any residences, cabins? There was, there was, well, at a certain point I did pull off the side of this road after, let's say, a mile, roughly. To the left, on the left-hand side, there were remnants of old bar, barbed wire fence posts, and maybe shreds of barbed wire. It wasn't an actual fence; it was a, it was the remnants of a fence, and some I noticed a couple of fence posts kind of bent down, mm. and bent askew, and, and pieces of just stumble over a piece of. Uh, barbed wire buried in the sandy soil here and there. Did you have, did you just stop the car in the road itself? No, I believe I pulled off something to, you know, five feet or so. Now uh, then I assume you had a shovel and you, how far would you say you were? I would say approximately, approximately 20 20 to 30 feet off the road, let's say 25, but... Um, How deep was the uh, grave? Clothes remain with her. No. Did you discard those before or after you left? Uh, left her there. Going to say something else, but it's yeah. As a matter of fact, probably back home from the home side, I'm probably yeah. back to Salt Lake City from this point along the uh, Highway along Highway 89, 89, even down as far up as past Thistle. Are you cutting up pretty small pieces? Yeah, just. You indicated by your hands what about it? Oh, three inch squares. Square tight. Square. Okay. What was the means or, or um, how was she killed? Yeah. 
is, that this is harder stuff for me to talk about. About the nice part? Well, there's no nice parts, yeah. but uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to make quality j- judgments of quality here, but yeah, it's, it's just simply more difficult to, to discuss this. Did you use a weapon on her? Did you use to it manually? Or? That's why it's so much easier for me to try to locate the body than it is to talk about the actual thing. Sure. Uh, it's just so much more positive, such as it can be. Where, where, um, and if it didn't take place in the schoolyard, did it take place in your car or? Um, no. In uh, the place where I lived. Oh, you took her home. Now, how many places did you live? I knew you had a place up on the avenues. Is that the only place you ever lived when you're in Salt Lake? Or? Oh, no. Oh, the avenues. You're up by the university? Though. Right, right. No, the avenues. I tried the, the name of the, the, the name of that location didn't ring a bell at first. Yes, right. Would it avenues. have been the residence that they searched? Or, uh, mm-hmm. was that right? right. No, I think, um, well, we will talk about that later. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was at the residence. So what, did you take her to your residence and then down here all on the same night? Or did you no. keep her there for no, well, a period of time? Yes. Um, I did keep her there for a period of time. A couple, well... Was she alive during that uh, during that time period? Let's see, during half of it. Now, you might, with reference to the things that went out the window, I think some of the larger items went out between uh, Spanish Fork and Thistle. Probably there's an embankment there with a where the river comes down. Oh yeah. I don't know, and I think there's a railroad track in there somewhere, too. Right, yeah. There's been a big landslide. Maybe you saw it in the news. It was nationwide uh, a year or two back when the, the whole side of the mountain slid down. I heard it. That was, that was that the area? That was right there at this one. Well, yeah, this would have been down from it, I wonder. Right. It's, who knows? You know, it's a long time. I'm, I'm sure that there's nothing left to find in, in terms of anything just cast yeah. off the roadway. Uh, but I'm concerned about about uh, which one of these roads it is. Do you think that's? I wonder. Do you think that's enough? It's going to be very difficult. Well, is there any? Is there, is, you just don't have any access to maps. It's going to be very difficult if we don't have. Well, I'll uh, I'll leave here and do my best to try to get a better map, and uh, uh, if I could get some time to come back tomorrow evening, I don't know if that's possible. No, we'll, we'll, tomorrow is it's all booked up. Well, yeah, it's there's just nothing open at all. Uh, and because what I'm talking about here are, in all likelihood. Uh, remains that can be found because um, there's no absolute certainty, but 
it was an attempt on my part, for example, to uh, fill in part of the grave and then layer of heavy rocks over that and, and, and dirt over that to prevent the kind of animal uh, destruction that can occur to something left. Some, uh, oh, you were left. concerned about animals not getting to it? Or? Well, yeah, not getting to it because they can, well, we conceivably spread the remains around in such a way that they would be found, as opposed to not being found. Was she in any way dismembered? Was she buried whole? Or? Yeah. I mean, yes, you should find all of it. Well, then again, I, I don't mean to rush you, but then I'm concerned about getting everything in as much as I can. Uh, there's two other gals that were missing. Um, uh, further up was Nancy Baird, who worked at a gas station on July 4th. Yeah. That was in the 75 bill, July 4th. What, what, do you recall um, what type of place it was that she was working in or where it was located on which highway? No, I didn't have anything to do with that. Nancy Gray? Right. With that, and uh, I don't know anything about that disappearance. Nancy Wilcox in the Big Salt Lake City on the east side. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, she had left home. You recall when, uh, or where you picked her up at? What others did you take down the uh, Highway 89? No one else. Was Nancy Wilcox on foot, or uh, how did you ever run into her? Uh, she was on foot. Did she come peacefully with you, or did you have to uh, take her uh, at force at first? Or how? Out of that particular encounter up there. Oh, well. Um.
What others did you take down in uh, uh, Highway 89? No one else. Was Nancy Wilcox on foot, or uh, how did you uh, run into her? Did she come peacefully with you, or did you have to uh, take her uh, at force at first, or how did, how did that particular encounter occur? Slept for a while. And well, I just, you see, there's just a lot of things going on besides sure. what you want to talk to me about, it. and it, it, it creates a lot of pressure and a lack of sleep and the hours and everything builds up. Obviously. And what's maybe hard to appreciate, and I've always talked to folks in Idaho today, and uh, it's hard to appreciate that. Uh, using as an excuse, but it's just the reality is when I talk about this kind of stuff, it, 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 it drains me in a way that's hard to describe. I mean, I have not thought about this, these kinds of things and these instances before. Sure. To attempt to relive them vividly enough to describe them, especially to the point of locating remains is uh, it just my, my mind is tied in knots right now. Um, everything together, and so I'm having a hard time. I think I'm having a hard time. Too. But we, let's we, we'll see if we can't run through it, at least this one. Okay. Do you remember approximately where you encountered Nancy Wilcox? Do you remember what she was wearing, what she looked like? I don't remember exactly what she was wearing. She was wearing like casual clothes. She wasn't wearing dress, she wasn't dressed up in slacks or a dress or jeans. Walking along the side of her. Of a road. A poorly lit area. Suburban. I, years ago, I think I was probably in the street. But, and if I had a street map, I'd have an outside chance I could show you. You don't have to have a street map. So. No. Do you recall um, where it would have been from the university? So? No, it would have been south. Considerably south. East or west? Hmm? East or west? Oh, wait, excuse me, south. I get my directions all screwed up in that place. Yeah. Is there any kind of salt like map here? Well, of course, when you're going south, the mountains, uh, the Wasatch Mountains, are to the east. And uh, there's homes built up alongside the, uh, yeah. the valley, and they're not west. Well, it would have been, yeah, it would have been south of the university. Some distance south. 
And you remember State Street, the main drag that goes all the way to, was it east or west of that? Oh, it was uh, east. east. South and east. Considerably east? Uh, mm -hmm. well, considerably east is up in the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> up in the benches. This wasn't up in the benches. This is uh, south and east by how much? Uh, it was just a... a, a uh, by suburban, I don't mean new suburban, I mean look, it looked like older suburban. You know, the house that had been around for a while was under development. The, uh, there, was no, there were no sidewalks per se, I think it was just sort of a side area. There, was, there were no like uh, storm sewers mm -hmm. and curves and things like this. Were you able to have any conversation with her? Uh... Not really. Mm -hmm. uh, not much. I mean, nothing, nothing, no work. Was she carrying a purse? Do you recall? Or? Don't recall. Yeah, you know, did you ask me that question about uh, Deborah Kent? About the purse? About what she was wearing and everything you need. Well, you just indicated what you did with the, the clothing, but you didn't describe it, though. No? Okay. Well, I would hope that we get something that seemed to be you know, corroborative in a way that people were somehow convinced. I know people don't think I'm making it up, but on the other hand, some people might say it's just for the sake of it that I was. <laughs> you follow me? Well, absolutely. I mean, there's there's too much with Deborah to uh, for us to believe any differently, though. I mean, with the uh, well, the uh, handcuff key that we found in the parking lot. And, uh, yeah. So we're knowing, we know you're not telling us the story here. We, we've got people that identified you being at the school that night, too. Okay, yeah, well, let's get back to, this, uh, to uh, what the young lady we're talking about. Nancy Wilcox. Mm -hmm. So she was walking on the side of the road, and you approached her and took her against her will. Yeah, that's a good description. Yeah, basically. Uh, it was a, a, a fairly dark, particularly dark stretch of... Uh, it was a, a main roadway, but I mean, I don't describe it, but without any... But with a street light, an old-style single pole street light every three or four poles. Uh, so it was dark, and uh, there was a what looked like to be a small orchard. Uh, that's a very small residential orchard between these two houses, and, and she was ushered into there and uh, restrained, and then placed in the car and taken to the apartment. The park. The apartment. Oh, apartment. Now, at what point would, would uh, she have been killed? In the orchard or at your um, apartment? The, the, next, uh, the next day. Now, are we talking about the same apartment, though? Yes. Do you recall anything unusual about her, anything that sticks out in your mind as far as her... Any scars, marks, or... Um, Obviously, did you know her name at that time? No, no, I didn't. Uh, did she talk about? Was she able to talk about uh, anything prior to the assault? To you say you didn't have much of a conversation with her before? No. no. Where was she taken after the apartment? Um, that's what I'm trying to remember. 
that's what I'm looking at. I need to look over this, over the map. It's, it's unclear to me right now. Well, if I could help you, Parties is the one that goes straight east out of Salt Lake, and that's that's the main route to Park City. Do you remember that one? Yes. And then, of course, it goes south to, uh, when you get over Plain Mountain, you've got to the small towns, Lehigh, American Fork, and Orem, and then Provo. Mm -hmm. And north, of course, you got Bountiful, Leighton, and some other towns in that area that go up. Is odd, but do you think it was which direction do you think it went? state of mind was not good then. I would think I was, uh, I mean, I know I was not very lucid and I was new to the area. I, I sort of got lost going to where I was going and got lost coming back. Did you follow 89 again? Or did well, you... no, I went south, but how far south? And which, and I, you know, it's not as clear as it was. Whatever. thing is I remember contours, I remember ups and downs better than, uh, than some other stuff. Uh, well, there's a lot of ups and downs in that area. This is true. Mm -hmm. A lot of. But you went south, but you don't think you followed 89 that time? I sort of remember staying on the main drag. Whatever that was, it did not diverting at Spanish Fork, but continuing on the main line down, which is like labeled as 91 here. <coughs> this is quite an old map because there should be a freeway, uh, Inter yeah. Interstate 15, it goes. Well, it was this was uh, some time ago itself. I don't know when this is published. You know, we call if it was a freeway, though. Well, you know, at those times, you're right. It was a, it was a, a, a mixture. It's a 1967 copyright, but uh, at that time, it was uh, a a blend of construction of two lane, four lane, back and forth, side and pro. But a lot of it was two lane then, and it appears on the map as well as a lot of it was two lane. as two lane, and this map was. Mm -hmm. Going south, but time was nuts. I mean, you pass through all these towns, and you know how those those little towns are. Uh, uh, you know, whether it be, yeah, uh, let's say Scipio and Fillmore and Meadow and Conash, and everyone has a blinking orange lights, and the, and the, the stores are dark and. Uh, it's late at night, and you're just making sure you're obeying the, the, the speed limit because you know that probably some cop in that town is going to try to make his quota with you. So anyway, moving south to Beaver, going, going out west. Yeah, Beaver's about a three to four hour drive. That's not out of the question. That is, it could have been Cove Fork, which is also, I mean, it's, it's down far enough. It has a, a western 
component to it. That's where Brigham Young used to have a summer home. What, Cold Fork? Little, Cold Fort. Little trivia there for you. How about that, huh? Well, you know, you, if you were married by Reverend Mearsman, you're not a Mormon, are you? No, 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 but I've... Well, you can't help but know all that. Been out there 23 years and... Right, you, more or less, uh, you know, been a, a, a indoctrinated. Yeah, they're trying. <laughs> Mearsman's fighting them off, though. <laughs> they're always at your door, though, I know oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. Freshly scrub faces. Good people, I mean. Oh, yeah. No question, but they're wonderful people. You bet. Absolutely the best. That's what makes the place so nice. Right. Even if you're not of that persuasion. Exactly. So you think we're down in Beaver or Cove Fort or something? Somewhere like down in that area. But we're farther off the road than that. To the left or right? Going to the to the east. Some distance. And there again, you just think it's in that general. You could. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I've got this fantastic. Sorry. No. Okay. You're catching me when you are. Yeah, I'm just getting quite anxious myself. You I, know, hear you. <laughs> I, I hear you. I hear you. And we're all up. At against some deadlines mm -hmm. and uh, my mind isn't as nimble as it needs to be right now but I Seems to me it was something that went up and over, something like a pass. Pretty steep climb. A dirt road or a paved no, road? No, a paved road, four lane. Could it have been four? A 24 goes up into the mountains. Is 70 cut through? Yeah, yeah, 70 is a four lane. I mean, it is now. What was it back in 1974? I would assume it was um, probably a little bit of both. Yeah, 70 comes over and meets 15 now. And, uh, in fact, that's where they're picking up all the cocaine traffickers now on Interstate 7. <laughs> Why? Why there? I don't know. They're just uh, the Highway Patrol for Utah is getting more cocaine than any other state, including uh, Miami, I heard, or including Florida on, on that same state. But anyway, you think it was a four lane going east, a yeah. paved road? Up into the mountains, pass. Did you follow that paved road quite a ways before you? No. See that eventually you can come back into Price and back that way if you follow mm -hmm. 70 far enough. Mm -hmm. Did you make the circle or not? I, uh, no, I think I, I, no, I came back the same way. Mm -hmm. That I went down. Yeah, and this is late at night, 11, 12, 1 o'clock. And you know, the new area, dark, obviously. But new area. So, anyway, I'm more or less picking whatever is available, not looking for, for anything marked on a map as much as uh, just looking for something that's not a, a, a road suitably. Far off the beaten path. When 
with some better maps and, and uh, knowing more about the 70, I could and a better description of uh, a description of uh, something of this uh, 24 might uh, I'm sure what because uh, I remember you're speaking of this road here yeah 24 and uh, and what is indicated was later 70 what was going to be 70 so it could be one of those two possibilities what you're saying mm -hmm. How far would you have traveled the east, do you suppose, on a paved road? Well into them. Trail. Carry water, it said. Huh. Could have been something like that. But before you hit that dirt road, how would far would you say you traveled the uh, east? Oh no, wasn't wasn't looking to mileage as much as I was trying to look for the roads road. that appeared out of the dark along the side of this this highway that looked like they went somewhere. Miss Nancy, did you keep her approximately 24 hours at your place? Talk about cause of death there, how you caused your death. Well, uh, it, it's, it's 
makes sense and it doesn't to me. It's, it's, Was it a weapon used? No. Um, someday it might make might be important, but I think for the family it's important that we could find it funny. That she died is unfortunate and real, but not if we could find her body. Is there anything else then about where the body would be that you could tell me right now? Well, what did I tell you? I told you about the spot, more or less. You know? Yeah, you weren't sure about 70 or, uh, again, what was his highway number? But you thought you went over that road again on your way to Green River. I don't remember this canyon brief national park, but I don't imagine it, you know, it looks any different than the rest of it, except it's there. I'll have to take a, 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 a break. Excuse me. Sure. you're not a reporter and your job is to be a detective and I would trust that to a certain extent you're not going to just run back to Salt Lake City and, and tell the press everything that I said and, and that you're more interested in solving the case absolutely and, and letting the families know without reawakening all the pain uh, by putting details in the paper that would that's my first and foremost reason for being here for those three girls that are missing and and some more <coughs> from Utah yeah. but uh, it's way too late I've taken this way too long yeah. to come this far but uh, it, it's where I am now, and uh, before it gets any later. You want to get it all out? Well, you know that too. Uh, I need to get it all out, not just for you, but for all these people here, and many people are here. Well, for yourself too. Well, it's what you want. Yeah, cold water. Right, thanks. To the extent that, uh, to the in, in, in the event that uh, anybody, especially families, want to know, uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't correct a thing. Are you saying that goes a long way, Ted? Uh, and I, I'm not looking for anything. I know. Uh, I don't know. Just I understand now a lot of stuff about myself that I didn't understand then. And it, it it may 
makes me realize what was going on. It doesn't make it any less uh, sure. uh, it's been serious. Uh, but it, the senselessness, the senselessness of it, is, it, 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 it appalls me. Although I'm sure not as much as those who are so close to it. Just as appalling is, however, the fact that I was so insensitive to it. Uh, the only one of many things kept me from talking for so many years, and, and uh, doesn't excuse it, but uh, it's it's too bad I wasn't in this position. I wasn't in a position to talk about this years ago. I still think, though, that some good can come of this, especially from at least um, in the, the case of the the cat girl. I mean, I hope that a serious attempt is mounted to find something. Well, we've got search and rescue on on alert right now to uh, to try to do that. You know. Who does your, I mean, your sheriff's office or something? Oh, yes, Pete Hayward, you know, and he, uh, he, uh, he said to say hello and uh, uh, I want to know if you got his Christmas cards. Uh, yeah, I may have. I, I think that I remember receiving one from the one time. Hmm. Uh, yeah. He was the captain and now he's the sheriff. Well, I'm burned out. I hate him. I'm sorry that I can't give you more, um, especially on the second one, Wilcox. Let's see. Because I know that, the, that this is a good chance, maybe in some ways a better chance of finding it. Finding it. The remains of a young girl. I would, uh, what's the, the scale, let me look at the scale. this man, the Notum Road, off Highway 24. You mean we're following this road and we take the Notum Road? To the... Is that it? To the right. Is this it here? No, no, no. Right there. See how it comes out? Right here? It's back. If I could see the, the actual entrance way from several of these roads, what happens is on this particular road, you sort of, you, you, you make a right-hand turn off 24, go south for 100 feet or so, and then turn make a turn around. First, to the right and then a larger bend around to the left and which is a swooping kind of bend and it, it, that, that uh, seems to be reminiscent of the way this Notum Road looks although it could be one of these others but it's far, far enough in let's say it far enough along Highway 24 to to make some sense uh, but your recollection was was that you went over that road again on the way to uh, Colorado, though, is that right? Yeah. At one time. 
28. How far off of 24 then? I would say within two miles, between a mile again, between a mile and two miles. On the right hand side, up an embankment, about 50 feet. Okay. Well, that's the, your scale here says. Uh, well, I'm just putting a general of the okay. type thing. It's on yeah. the right side. And yeah, I would actually, if you want to put it, if you want to pinpoint it. I don't know about Notum. I never ran across Notum. I bet you it's a, probably a, 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 a mailbox. Oh, that's a new one on me, too, yes. Uh, I, you might want to look something like that X, or more like a, a mile or two miles. And I think on a scale of five, that's about five miles, so that's about five. Okay. Uh, what clothing you discarded kind of the same way as Debbie Kent then? Yeah. Yes, I did. Thank you. What, you cut the clothing up and on the way back to Salt Lake? Okay, we've done our best on those two, haven't we, Ted? Or can we do any more at this point in time? No. I mean, uh, well, I wish we could do better, and we could do better if we had, I, I think... Better we, maps. Better maps. And that's important for the purposes, certainly, that I'm trying to accomplish. Can we go back to Nancy Baird? You, you indicated that... Yeah. Nancy Baird. Who's that? She's the girl up in the, between the Bountiful and Ogden. In fact, I'm not even sure, you know, I don't even know why I was assuming. <laughs> you said Nancy Wilcox, I'm not sure, I don't even know who you were talking about. Mm. Well, wait a minute, I'm not trying to cop out on you here, I'm, I mean, I'm getting a little confused when I'm always... Uh, well, Nancy Baird, I'll... Remember, well, I didn't even, dis did, we, did I describe this? How did I describe Nancy Wilcox? Well, you couldn't describe her clothing. Right. Okay, I blue, you know, casual, I mean, like blue jeans. Do you have a recollection of her physical appearance? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I want to make sure that I'm not getting names, just going for the name, uh, instead of also name that fits of whatever. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I should, because I didn't know the girl's name, and I guess I mean, I'm just reacting to publicity. Somewhere along the line, I heard the name Nancy Wilcox. Now I'm going to go. God. I think, I, I hope what I said matches up. It's not my, it's, my, my the state of it is not good. Uh, I think I matched up the right name to the right incident because only because I read about it some time later in the paper, and this is a long time later. Sure. Because nothing. Back on we because okay. nothing came out. Nothing came out in the, in the paper about it for some time, as I recall. In, in, in the particular case, which I later now associate. Right. With there was not that much publicity about it at the time. Mr. Yes, sir. Well, we've just about had what we can do. About a minute, now. just five or ten minutes. We've, we've done it. I, uh, there's more. I know there's much more to these cases than more to the other ones. Let me try to finish this Wilcox thing. Maybe it'll link it up a little bit better because that's, I mean, we want to make sure that that's. There's, there is that particular girl I mentioned that is here somewhere. Okay. The name, 
you'll you'll find the name. I'm sure you can find the remains. You should. I think it's Wilcox because that's just a name that attached to it at some point later in time. And that's all about all I can do right now. Okay, can you tell me about Melissa Smith? Just in a short synopsis, um, she was last seen right here in the Fashion Place Mall where, where you picked up Carol Durange. That was the last time she was seen. In, in But you are responsible for Melissa Smith? What's the question? Melissa Smith.
Was the recollection getting to you or just burned out? And I was just having a hard time placing the names are starting to get all mixed up. How about pictures? Would they help you? Pictures never look anything like they really do. You can try. I mean, pictures look like the pictures I've seen in the newspapers, but then again, they don't look any, like anybody I ever had anything to do with. What do you have? Deborah Kim. Nancy Baird. Nancy Wilcox. Melissa Smith. She was the chief of police star. And then Mara Amy. Laura, Amy, and Melissa are the ones that we did find. Do you remember where you left him? Who? Oh. oh. Laura and uh, Melissa. How many in Utah are we talking about? I'm trying to count. We talked about, did we talk about that? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mentioned a figure and you said it was more than that. That was, yeah. That's what I felt like it was more. Well, I mentioned the fact there was three missing, and you said there was more than that. Oh, yeah. How many more? Two. Anything about those two you can tell me? I don't remember. 
have her name. I don't know who it was. It could have been one of these. I don't know which one she was. No, I don't think it was. I don't know the name. Would you like to talk to me again? Do we have any more time uh, between now and... Well, we, yeah, we need to talk again if we have time. We need to get some better maps if we can. And I need some sleep. My mind is just... Uh, Would you have uh, Diana contact me then when we can arrange that? I appreciate the time uh, tonight, Ted. Yeah. Uh, I'm not bullshitting you, but my mind's, after a few of these, my mind just ceases up. I mean, I, I really, it, it, it's not like, I just can't say anymore in some way. But we, we will get to them. Okay, anything you want me to tell uh, Padre Mearsman or anybody back uh, in Utah? Uh, yeah, well. Lou Beck. Yeah, you ever see him? Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll say hello. Father Mearsman? Mm -hmm. Does he remember? Uh, does he remember me? Oh, yes. Played him. Played himself in, in that movie one time. What was that? Oh, Gary Gilmore's... Uh, <laughs> he was quite taken in by your intelligence, though. And yeah, he's a humor. Yeah, well, say hello. Please. Well, good.